I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. During Tuesday's White House press briefing, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was asked about the possibility of a recession. Amid widespread economic anxiety from inflation and record high gas prices, the press secretary assured that, quote, we are not in a recession right now. Right now, we're in a transition. Listen in as she explains. The president said last week that um, uh, there's no inevitability around a recession, but there is a, a greater deal of, of market concern about um, exactly that. Uh, and I know that inflation is your number one concern, but can you talk a little bit about if you're doing anything at all to prevent a, a recession or a rise in unemployment? So the way that we see this, and you've heard us uh, talk about this, that we're in a moment of transition. Uh, we have we have seen uh, we are in a unique situation with our uh, with the historical uh, gains with our economy. Uh, the way that uh, we see it is unemployment rate has held steady at 3.6, which is also near historic uh, lows. Uh, business in investment remains strong. Uh, household balance sheets remain strong. Uh, there was an analysis that came out recently that showed middle class Americans have had an additional $10,000 uh, in savings th then before the pandemic. Uh, another analysis found that all income groups had higher uh, checking account balances at the end of March than they had pre-pandemic. So we see that the strengths that we, our economic strength that we uh, have seen from this past year, from the action that the president has taken with the American Rescue Plan, uh, with what we have seen uh, with the historical gains, uh, that is going to help us deal uh, with a recession right now, we don't see a recession right now. That is not. We're not in a recession right now. Uh, right now, we're in a transition where we we, will, we are uh, going to go into a place of stable and steady growth, and that's going to be uh, that's that's going to be our focus. And just one more. Um, AAA was out with a report today saying that there's going to be a record number of people uh, driving for the Fourth of July holiday, um, and I'm wondering what that tells you about um, whether inflation is in fact the top concern for um, for the American people. Um, and, and whether there's a role for conservation to play given um, the extreme demands on energy supplies right now. Well, same, say a little bit more. You're, uh, you're saying... Well, uh, Americans are, are happy, it would seem, to, um, to, oh. to go out oh, I see and to okay. pay as much money as <laughs> gas costs to go on vacation <laughs> and do all of the things that they would normally do, in fact, more so than in the past. So how do you... How do you what do you think about that, and, and do you think it's appropriate given the, the constraints on energy supplies globally? Right I mean, now? look, Americans are going to do uh, what they feel is right for themselves and for the family, for their family. That's not something for us to make a judgment on. I think what we're seeing right now is, uh, you know, we've been in a pandemic for some time, uh, and I think be and I think Americans are feeling as if this summer it's time to get out and go visit families, and uh, and, and I think that's a reaction that we're seeing there. But I have to say, a lot of that is is thankful to uh, the president and the work that he has done to make sure that more than 220 million people get are fully vaccinated. That matters. Today, he's going to visit uh, a COVID health center where uh, our, where we are going to be uh, able to vaccinate uh, our youngest among us, uh, which is the zero to five. That's about 18 million uh, young people, which is uh, a lot of that work is due because of what the president has been able to do, and the American Rescue Plan, and the, stra the vaccination strategy that he put uh, that he put forward the, the moment that he walked into this administration. Look, I, it's not it's not for me uh, to say what Americans can do or can't do, but I do think uh, this is kind of the kind of the, the pendulum swinging as we are, are, are as we are more people are vaccinated and more folks are are feeling more comfortable and more safe to get out there.